Welcome back to Doromi Music and Entertainment Program. I'm Ayaka. And I'm Rainbow. And today we are back with our third episode and we're happy to introduce you like more new releases mm -hmm, and right. also uh, the m news about the Mongolian music and entertainment scene. We will have fun. Okay, so shall we start with the new releases? Yeah, sure. Okay. So Rainbow, and what like new songs have you listened to? Yeah, I have a very interesting new release uh -huh. of this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a past week, and it's a, a song by a Mongolian famous female singer. And I want you to guess her. I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh. uh, it started with uh, letter S. Sarchma. Yeah. Sara. Okay, so okay. Santoya. Pink. Okay. <laughs> Okay, she's a legend and she's pop diva of Mongolian music industry. And uh, last Thursday she released her a new song. The mm -hmm. new song is called Leave the Past Behind. Mm -hmm. I just realized th uh, that people um, commenting under the video and all those comments were so positive, warm. So yeah, she has got uh, lots of fans in Mongolia and she's actually the uh, the all-time highest selling artist in Mongolia. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. she's regarded as that and also it's said that she released the first music video in uh, Mongolia. Oh. I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's the so uh, era of uh, 1990s or 1980s. I think it's 1980s, mm -hmm. like late mm -hmm. 1980s. Mm -hmm. And the singer Sarah has uh, started her career in late uh, 1980s. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, almost, uh, yeah, she's been in the industry for all, more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, tons of experience, right? And I believe that with her, this kind of powerful voice and all this experience, she's becoming the real inspiration for next generation of Mongolian artists. Also like Sarah's uh, song is that the, her birthday songs are like very popular. Right? Yeah, right. And mm -hmm. speaking of birthday, uh -huh. tomorrow is a big day for her. And tomorrow is? Tomorrow is her birthday. Yes. Asara has this kind of tradition that she celebrates her birthday with all her fans. And the concert name is called Live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as you like said, he's kind of like, uh, she's very like experienced. Ooh, and so right. she's like sharing her wisdom of life. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's a great chance for all those Sarah's fans to meet her and yeah, listen to her song. Very nice. And shall we watch it now? Yeah, right. <laughs>
So it's been like very wonderful and I have got something for you too. Uh, this is a song by Thunder. Thunder, okay. Yeah. How well do you know about Thunder? Oh, recently I heard uh, his song called Cool Daddy. It was so cute. Yes. Song, yeah. Yeah, and like other like Thunder song is kind of like one is like dedicated to his girlfriend, like singing like how much like he loves his girlfriend, mm. and also like there is a song called Mummy. Ah, oh, Mummy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have got these songs, and in his songs he kind of, he kind of like depicts his own life. Oh, when you like, listen to Mummy, okay. then you'll understand like mm -hmm. um, what uh, life he's been through. Mm -hmm. And then apart from like those like dad and mummy and girlfriend mm -hmm. songs, he also trying to like make a big impact in the society uh -huh. by his uh, songs that would er raise people's like awareness against oh, okay. the certain things that mm -hmm. we need to focus. Mm -hmm. So like for example, there is Harhun, uh, and it means like a jealous person, like oh, a jealous. Okay partner, husband, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it is like um, against the domestic violence, oh, okay. yeah, and also we have got mm -hmm. and this is uh, for the like the child uh, violence, like or harassment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so against all of this, um, these things, and uh, he is, yeah, like one of the, like, the few uh, artists that are trying to make a impact on the society and so uh, is he trying to uh, send message to his songs yes mm -hmm. exactly and and also like it, this is going like very successfully because mm -hmm. uh, his his songs are like reaching to many people mm -hmm. and like this recent one is also uh, the similar one mm -hmm. and it's it is called uh, or in English okay. would you accept me for who I am Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is for the people with uh, disabilities. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah, in like society, like maybe there's a tendency to to treat uh, people with disability a different way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So, but when you kind of like listen to to them, then it helps you to mm -hmm. uh, like understand more about mm -hmm. uh, about like how we like, why we can't mm -hmm. uh, be like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that there isn't many music videos that depict uh, disabled people, right? Uh, y yeah, but also like if uh, even if uh, there are, there have been some, mm -hmm. then they th that they can't gain like popularity mm, because right. no, no, like mm -hmm. thunder, like people like listen to thunder mm -hmm. and people uh, thunder can like has got like this charisma of, mm -hmm. of him and also like he's like very mm -hmm. honest mm -hmm. so. His like music videos, his songs, like his ideas can mm -hmm. like reach people, mm -hmm. and and this music video has featured uh, Bitlik mm -hmm. and have you heard of him? Um, no, who is he? Uh, yeah, uh, but I, I yeah you must have seen him, but maybe like when you when I like say the name, then it can be ah, like very. Yeah, so he's a, he he's a like public um, figure, mm -hmm. so he's an inf influencer, mm -hmm. and uh, he like. Um, like has like posts lots of things and mm -hmm. has like Instagram account mm -hmm. which has got uh, over like which has got 10.4 thousand uh, followers oh, that's and a lot. yeah mm -hmm. and he has got like a disability but mm -hmm. even though he uh, though he's got a disability like even though he's got this mm -hmm. handicap then uh, he tries to mm -hmm. give the positive like vibes and tries to like motivate people so he's a, mm -hmm. pop, a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and also a blogger and yeah, and also like a, f a fitness in enthusiast oh. mm -hmm. so yeah so he's kind of like a very uh very like uh, successful and empowering young men mm -hmm. and i'm really i was like very happy that thunder and uh, mm -hmm. uh, like work together mm -hmm. to make this uh, great song this uh, video Mm, so I feel that he uh, included all these people who are not uh, much in the attention of public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's watch Bagaram uh, Hulengaho. Would you accept me for who I am?
Okay, so this is Watson and Rainbow. Can you like tell us what you found? Yeah, I have found a uh, very interesting news mm -hmm. and it's uh, about a Mongolian visual artist or you can say street artist, Fisco. Mm -hmm. Street artist, you mean like graffiti? Yeah, graffiti artist. Okay, cool. And uh, have you heard about him? Yeah, I, I know like, I think like it was a um, the big painting of the Mongolian pop star Oka. Yeah, totally all right. And his latest work is a Sila art project. What is Silo? Uh, uh, yeah, right. Uh, Sila is a large container that keeps grains and crops. Ah. Uh, it's very common in Australia. Uh, on his Facebook, he mentioned that he used uh, 800 cans of spray painting mm -hmm. and also 130 liters of acrylic painting. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a like, huge uh, silo. So, yeah, of course, that would be. Yeah, it's a huge structure. And mm -hmm. he mentioned that it was the painting, the largest painting he has ever done in his life. And yeah, I'm kind of like very um, like happy to know that the street art is kind of like also. Mm -hmm getting like more popularity mm -hmm. but I think people think that street art is like not art but it is uh, still art if it, you can yeah. like pay if you like work on that seriously and Hisko even said that um, for the street art you don't need any gallery you don't need any creator it's mm -hmm. just open to public mm -hmm. so you just you can 
connect with those arts just immediately. Art is your gallery, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the so audience is the, just people walking mm -hmm. by that street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to see more of his work, uh, you can uh, visit his Instagram and Facebook page. And I, I want you to show your warm support towards this artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, f uh, for me that I have, uh, what I have got mm -hmm. is that uh, one Mongolian singer okay. uh, has won the award of best Asian singer. Oh, wow, Asian? Okay. Yes, best Asian singer is okay. born from Mongolia. <laughs> so Mukhbayer, uh, I, I think uh, you might know when I say his stage name, Becky. Becky. Oh, yes. okay, I know him. He used to have <laughs> sprint of the top metal button Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there is a uh, fashion week uh, mm -hmm. that from, started from uh, April 8th mm -hmm. until the April 15th. Oh, so, oh this month, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this month uh, the fashion week mm -hmm. like of the South Korea. Mm -hmm. So Becky is actually like from the punk beat funk beat uh, band mm -hmm. but actually he took lots of like years of break from his music career mm -hmm. maybe like around 10 or so mm -hmm. but he um, sang the never enough and it's from the greatest showman uh, the drama romance ah. musical towns of gold are still too little the sands could hold the world So like that song was sung by him at mm -hmm. the final stage of the Luxury Brand Music mm -hmm. Awards mm -hmm. and he won, won the award. And he was mm -hmm. actually the first Mongolian to be nominated for that award mm -hmm. and luckily he made it. Wow, that's quite an achievement. Yeah. Yes. And uh -huh. have you heard about that uh, LBMA? Um, actually, no. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the, like the sixth year that this has been uh, organizing, mm -hmm. and it was co-organized by the Korean Brand uh, Best Brand Award Association and mm -hmm. the LBMA Star Awards. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the nomination that was won by Mukbayer mm -hmm. uh, was like actually like uh, the previously mm -hmm. it has been to given to uh, the best like Korean bands like Tiara. Tiara, yeah. G.O.D. Okay. and The mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. So you can like, uh, from that you can like mm -hmm. see how prestigious the award is. I see. Okay, so this is Music ABCs and Rainbow, what's the letter for today? Um, today's letter is D. Okay, and D is for? D is for the band PQ. <laughs> The mm -hmm. So, can you like translate it into uh, Mongolian for mm -hmm. our foreign audience? Yeah, Titi means the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The earth. And they're like, uh, they have got like a, a very well known album that's called Yurtuns, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And actually, Yurtuns is their first album released uh -huh. in 2013, I think. Yes, and let me translate it for you. Uh, okay. This is, it means the universe. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess you learned two Mongolian words today. Right? Oh yes, the he and your students. And Ayuka, do you remember the song? Uh, I mean, the music names in that album. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Uh -huh. I can okay. remember them vividly because okay. yeah, I actually like I listened to all of them. Oh and great! Yeah, so uh, I liked water. Water. Mm -hmm. uh, step. Step. Sun. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and also like wind, yeah, You're and like right. sea, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. If you realize these are all the names of natural phenomena, yes. And the most special thing about this band is, as you mentioned, they are just uh, combining the sound of nature mm -hmm. and also the sound from melodic lifestyle with the Western contemporary electronic music. Uh, it means that like the melodic lifestyle is uh, the Mongolian traditional like uh, musical instruments. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, musical instruments. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I mean the sounds that occur in our daily life. You know, like a galloping horse. Or uh, uh, do you have that yes, kind yes, of? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can. Mm -hmm. see and that. actually, um, they used a real sound from nature into the words. 
mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, water. I think you know this work very well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because like I've, I've, I'm like familiar with them, so like they've used the the, the sound of water drops. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And the water drop played as a rhythmic role in this mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the rhythmic pattern. Mm -hmm. And about the instrument, um, they used. Uh, instrument called yatak, uh, which is translated into zither mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's actually, played by? Yeah, it's a played by Mongolian very honored zither artist uh, Mohirtin. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Mohirtin is the like a queen of zither, right? Yeah, exactly. And in her interview, she mentioned that she used special technique to produce that sound of water. Mm -hmm. So uh, what uh, music video are we watching that has got Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, we are going to watch uh, um, a song, actually, the video clip of song called Hora Hora Hora. Uh -huh. and, and you know the Hora is uh, very important for all Mongolians. Uh -huh. And can you explain why we say Hora? Uh, okay, in short, Hora is a word used when someone wants to call uh, good fortune yes. or all mm -hmm. the good things, or maybe to lift up their spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shall we lift our spirits? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hore.
Okay, so we're about to end our episode. And what specific thing did you like uh, from the show today? Yeah, right. Um, I really like the uh, song of Thunder, mm -hmm. uh -huh. which was really inspirational exactly and very creative. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that I also like the 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 he band. Oh. Mm -hmm and they're like their track mm -hmm. and because they said that it like works as a music therapy mm -hmm. so music is not just for the entertainment and music is uh, can be uh, can impact our lives in like lots of ways so one is that you can like reduce uh, your stress or the mm -hmm. other like anxiety and anything that you're having like, troubles with and then also like, uh, like for example the th thunderous one mm -hmm. the music can empower people yeah exactly and yeah, yeah educate people and mm -hmm. like your the uh, make us focus on the, the, mm -hmm. the certain like social uh, issues that we need to like change yeah right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so today we had a wonderful time and yeah exactly yeah yes and we will be happy to see you again next Friday at 8:30 p.m. yeah with more interesting news and new releases. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bye. See you next time.